All right. Hey guys, what's going on? It's that Home Theater Dude back with a brand new episode, doing an unboxing of the brand new Trinov Amplitude 16, 16 channel amplifier. Uh, the first one of its kind that Trinov's offering. Really excited about doing the unboxing of this one and uh, we're gonna be doing a review shortly after, so stick around to that. But we're gonna get into all that. We're gonna do it right after the intro. All right, let's get in the unboxing of this thing. All right, guys, so these things do exist. They've been in the works for a long time, obviously supply chain issues, um, and still these things are already on back order since their initial release, right? So people have been talking about these things. Actually, Tronov released this um, a couple of months ago, and people, they put out a press release for it, and people started putting in their orders, right, through their dealers. So um, these are already, from my understanding, they've been sold out plus 25 units past that. Um, so really these things are really popular. It's really cool because it's an all-in-one solution and that's the reason why they're the, the, pop, the popularity, right? So as I get this thing out of the box, dual box design, obviously it's gonna protect your investment. These things aren't gonna come shipped like straight up like FedEx or anything. You're gonna get this through a dealer, so don't worry about um, these things getting damaged or anything for you. So like I was talking about, this is a 16 channel amplifier. It has, if you wanna do just standard, just get an altitude 16, and then plug this thing up. You're gonna be looking at 800 watts a channel, or correction, 200 watts a channel for eight ohms, and then if you wanna do four ohms, you're gonna be doubling that to 400. So it looks like this thing's pretty packaged in there pretty well. They forewent the, the foam for some more rigid cardboard, which I think with something this heavy, you, if, it, if it's gonna be jostled in shipping, you could uh, damage the foam. So give me a second, I'm gonna get this thing out of the box. Good God. Well, all right guys, this thing's out of the box now, and this is a bad to the bone unit, right? So 6,080 6, watts total capacity come out of this thing which is massive, it's pretty heavy. So you can definitely tell that this thing has some, uh, some heft behind it. So the cool thing is, is 16 channels all day long. You can, you can also do your custom, customizable version of that as well. If you wanna bridge any two channels, you could do that as well. You could bridge all of these channels, right? And just do, let's see, we got 16 on here. So it'd be eight channels all, all day long. So if you wanted to do that, you'd be at, standard way to do it would be eight ohms, 200 watts, four ohms, you'd get 400 watts. If you wanted to bridge them, you'd have 800 watts for eight ohms. And if you wanted to bridge them in four ohms, it would be a thousand watts of channel. So lots and lots of uh, juice come out of this thing. So you're, you're gonna have headroom for days for your amplifier. I just think the cool thing with this one is, is I'm gonna get, just gonna show you guys the, the front real quick. So you have um, LED lights on the front for indicators. You have uh, clipping lights as well as um, bridge lights as well. It matches the motif of your uh, altitude already. So if you want to grab one of these, it's going to fit right in your stack. Three, three, three RU rack. You can also get an additional rack mounting system for this thing as well. <laughs> so it's not optional, it comes with it. Let me flip this thing around in the back. I'll bring the camera in and I'm going to show you guys the cool parts going on right here. Sky hook. All right, guys, welcome to the back of the Trinov Amplitude 16. This is uh, really, really cool to be looking at. If you guys don't understand what's going on, let me go ahead and walk you through it. So like I was talking about, there are two eight channel am uh, amplifiers in this one box, right? As you can see over here, you have two power supplies, which indicate the same thing. So now these are gonna be your outputs going out to your speakers, and uh, you can either have them um, in bridge tide load, which is gonna be just your bridge mode, or you can just basically run them uh, just, just standard. Now, the cool thing is, is the way you connect this, right? So you're gonna get this DB25 connector straight from uh, either Trinov or you can get them through other companies. I would highly recommend getting the one from Trinov because it comes super cool. Um, I'll show you guys that in just a minute. But uh, basically just connect it right there and then it's going to, your inputs are gonna be coming into the amplifier there and then these are gonna be your outputs. So you can choose exactly if you wanna have each individual one of these going 200 watts at eight ohms or just standard, um, standard mode. 
or you can have them bridged, right, if you want to have a little more juice. So then you would pump it over to the right in uh, the bridge tide load mode, and then you would basically just be using this one, right? So that's how you connect it. So flip the switch and then use the ones in white. If you don't flip the switch, then just use them standard. You have access to all four of these. And that's basically it for, for the back of this unit, right? So <laughs> two of the standard power, power inputs over here, you can use with, with the included power cords, you can use um, standard 120 or you can use the um, 230. If you use 230, you do get an additional 400 watts output per this entire unit. So that's for the all channels, right? So there is a slight little bit of a little bit of bump to to do that, but it's not necessarily necessary. But I'm sure a lot of you guys that are super into this stuff will just do it anyways. You have your LED indicator over here on the top. So if you don't like lights in your room, you can go ahead and turn that off. Trigger ins and outs right over there. And that basically rounds out the back of the unit. I'm going to show you guys the sides because it looks like there is a pretty decent amount of, uh, of heat sinks in this thing. So we're going to check that out in a second. All right, guys, so on the sides, you're going to notice that you're going to have these massive fans. This is on the right side of the unit if you're looking at it from the back, if it is the on the left side if you're looking at it from the front. So we're going to have some fans over here on the side to, to, to pull out this Class D um, amplification heat. There's not going to be a lot of it. You don't, you don't have to worry about it. You will see over here that they do have those um, pre-drilled holes for your rack ears like I was talking about. It's not an optional unit. It's going to come with it. Um, I like how Trenov actually cares <laughs> about their customers and doesn't charge them an arm and a leg for, for their, their rack ears. So again, like I was talking about in that additional unboxing, there is another box in there and that these will come in there right there and then you're ready to go. It even comes with the fasteners. Oop. Boop. So then you're, you're done. Other than that, let me show you guys the cool DB25 cable from Trenov. All right, guys, check out the front of the unit. Looks pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit different than what you've seen before on a, on a standard turn off. There really isn't much to, to show you. Has this cool little design over here on the side. Tells you that it is, in fact, the 16 channel and not their eight channel variant. You do have the LED indicators up here, basically showing you the status of all 16 of your channels. Um, you can have these to where they're letting you know that the channel is operating as well as it's clipped or you're getting into some distortion as well. Over there, you'll have your your power button and then the only other thing that i will let you know i hope this is going to be in focus is going to be their cool proprietary db25 cable you don't necessarily need to buy it from them but this thing is a cool touch has nice branding all over it so you have your standard pin connection there got your trend off db25s there and then i have your breakout cable for eight channels um, these are individually numbered so they're easy to let you know like you have one we got five. I mean, really, really cool design that they did on there. Makes it easy for you to understand exactly where these things are going. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it for this unit. I'm pretty excited about it. Let me wrap this video up for you. Well, all right, guys, one more thing I want to let you know about this unit is that uh, the reason why people like to get uh, the, the Trinov amplifiers, right, is because they're voltage matched, they're gain matched, they're perfectly engineered to work with their processor, right? So if you're spending all the money on the processor, might as well just round out the entire set with their nice uh, little bit of amplifiers. This thing is a performer. I can't wait to actually experience this one. Just the just seeing this thing on paper, it's just completely um, absurd. <laughs> I'm really excited about, uh, about, about doing a review for you guys. Um, only other thing on this one is that it has a cool little startup sequence. The red light starts flashing green, and then you'll actually see the LED lights come on the front. I think that's really all I got to say. Oh, one last thing. Uh, on the back, whenever I was looking at the unit, forgot to let you know there is a port above where the, the speakers are, uh, the speaker outputs are, and that's for an update if you guys want to do Dante in the future. Um, I'm sure that they will be acceptable, acceptable with it in the future. But right now, since this is one of the first batches, it's not necessarily available at, at this time. So um, that is something that's coming on later, a little bit later on. If you guys are excited about that, it's coming. So... That, I think that's really all I got All I got for you guys. Make sure if you want to buy one of these things, reach out to a local Trinov dealer. They would love to, uh, to work with you. Um, these things don't necessarily get sold over the internet, so buyer beware. That's all I got. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.